Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. I am your host CDB, you are not, and today we're going to use Tiki, the captain. I've been asked about this, I like it, and I shall use it, as well as the uh, Tiki, the captain, aftershave, which you can get at Groomatorium. Remember, Tiki is not fulfilled by the original owner of Tiki anymore, it's fulfilled by um, Groomatorium. Uh, good service, you won't have any problems, I suggest you try some of the Tiki um, products out because they have wonderful scents. I'm going to be using the Timeless uh, Bronze Razor, and I've got a lot of emails in recent months about Timeless because, um, you know, I like and use Timeless, and most people have uh, been very happy with it. A few is like, well, you know, it just wasn't for me. Uh, one of the things I advise you to do, people, is um, take advantage of the Timeless Satisfaction Guarantee. So if you don't like a particular razor, you know, it's just not working for you after a time, send it back and try something else. They do have that satisfaction guarantee. Let's get a more, a little more lather here. Um, by the way, the brush is the uh, uh, Plasson, the TSE version. I don't know if you can see that in the end. Eh, it's hard to see. Thank you, Tim Berger, and I hope you still watch. And so, we'll roll with Tiki today. Thanks again to everyone for all the um, support that I have received based on my, you know, my last couple of videos. It's phenomenal. I've had a lot of conversations with folks both on the phone and, you know, over email. And I've, I have friends that range the gambit from doctor, psychologist, therapist, uh, learned men and women who uh, offer their perspective and it's incredibly valuable to me as well as helpful because uh, one of the things that that does is um, it's helped me learn some things about myself. Uh, I had a really insightful conversation yesterday with a gentleman, I won't mention his name, but you know who you are, and really um, opened some doors for me in terms of understanding me. But one of the things I didn't understand about myself and, and uh, this is what you get, by the way, here on the channel. I just don't talk about shave stuff. I talk about anything and everything. I always have, and some people like it, and some people don't. Um, but anyhow, I've learned some things about myself and the way that I demonstrate love and compassion, and it's not the same for everybody. And so, in my own personal case, you know, I demonstrate love through um, protection and commitment and fidelity and... Uh, verbalization, one of the things that I tend to do, you know, I'm preachy, as you know, but I do that out of love. I don't do that out of, sometimes it seems like criticism and being down. It's actually, my goal has always been in doing that to bring about change, to make improvement, to make people better. And so, one of the things I hadn't realized through this process is that you know, my tendency to lecture and preach, of course, it does not go, go over well with some people who are averse to that sort of thing. And it can also be taken the wrong way, taken to be negative, taken to be pointing out flaws, when really my objective is let's make a change and get better. So when I do it, it's, it's out of love, not out of trying to belittle and to uh, minimize people or, you know, things of that nature. So that's one of the things that I've learned about myself and also that other people just need, you know, different things, different uh, demonstrations of, of uh, love. For me, you know, I've always thought I want somebody to run through a wall for me. I want somebody, if I need them, they're there. And to me, demonstration of commitment is, uh, excuse me, while I get some water to demonstrate, demonstration of commitment has always been for me uh, um, important. And I wanted somebody to do for me what I would do for them in, in every relationship. Just my, you know, my friends, my family, my spouse, uh, siblings, daughter, you know, everything. So, um, anyway, that's sort of my measure, and, and uh, 
And it's the way I demonstrate it, being protective and trying to, you know, keep people from harm and put them on a path to, to do well. And so that's me. Anyway, I just wanted to share that because I thought it was interesting. And if you do a little introspection, you might find that the things, <clears throat> you know, that you've been doing, which you think are very valuable and helpful, can certainly be taken, taken, excuse me, the wrong way. And sometimes not only taken the wrong way, but taken to mean that, you know, you're, you're expressing something other than love. And so anyway, I just found it to be interesting because we were talking about all sorts of different issues. And I like to learn. It's one of the things about me. And so I have learned uh, a few things. Uh, make no mistake about it. I'm not out of the water uh, by any stretch, um, but you know, the support and the love that I've been shown is, is incredible. And I thank every one of you who have watched and uh, I really do appreciate it. In addition to your thoughts and prayers, and I've even had folks who aren't believers and they say, uh, you know what, I'm not a believer and I don't believe in prayer, but you know, I'm gonna send you good vibes and and that is much appreciated too because you know when you find yourself in situations that are not optimal the support means a lot and so I appreciate it and I hope that through airing you know not airing the details but airing look it's a difficult time that people who are in my shoes in any variety of situations illness you know, problems with their children or their spouse or friends will benefit from it. And uh, that's why I uh, share it because the one thing I can do is try to be of service and, and to let you know that, you know, it happens to everybody. And some of us more than others, it would seem. But uh, we'll not stop the fight and I hope you continue to to plow away too and as I said yesterday something I, I want to reiterate and trust me when I finish this last comment I'm going to talk about this razor and the soap because I know that's why uh, a lot of you watch um, at any rate I um, I equate like personal pain and struggle um, in some ways, like a, a venomous snake bite, insofar as sometimes that venom, venom, excuse me, that venom, and, whew, I'm tongue twisted. It's rough. It happens. The venom uh, is sometimes used to make the antidote. So it can be part of a solution. So the very pain you experience can be part of the solution if you take it and use it, own it. So please, again, uh, that's something I touched on yesterday, but I wanted to give you that analogy. Just think of it like a snake bite. You need the venom to solve the problem. You know, you need the venom to get well. And so take it and use it as you will. Don't let it be a destructive force. Use that energy for something good. Be of service. Improve yourself, whatever the case may be. So that's what I choose to do. So anyway, moving on to shaving, which is why most of you watch. As you can see here, it's going along uh, very, very nice. This produces a very nice lather. The scent on this is a tobacco, cherry type of uh, scent. And it is quite good. Scent strength, I would say, is, you know, in the realm of uh, six or so. Quite good. No problems whatsoever. Enjoying it. And uh, I think you'll enjoy some of the tiki scents if you try them out. That's one thing about Tiki. They had some phenomenal scents, especially that first number of scents. Although they produced good scents throughout, I think some of those first scents, Landlocked and The Captain and Spice Islands, which is phenomenal. Although there's others like Volcano and The Windy City and there's a lot of great ones. Now, onto the razor. This guy's mild, but it's one of my favorite razors. I love it. The blade gap is a uh, point... 3.8, which isn't much, but it comes off 
really nice. And like I said, I've had a lot of people who really were happy with their decision to use Timeless. So uh, I'm very happy for you folks because I do like it when someone sees a product on my channel and, and they enjoy it. That's, that's the goal. And so, again, please don't be afraid to take advantage of that guarantee if you're not happy. Try something else. That's my advice. Don't just let it ride. You know, if, if after a couple of weeks it's not working, maybe try to trade it up for something else and reach out to, to those guys because not everybody likes the same thing in a razor. For some, this is too mild. For some, this is too aggressive. You just never know. Now, one thing I'll say is if you're a new wet shaver in particular, give it time. If you don't hit it off immediately, give it time. Because one of the things I noticed, even after a year or better, I came back to razors that I initially didn't like and found that I like them. So give it time. Don't, you know, give up after you have one or two poor shaves. Maybe adjust your technique a little bit. Make sure your soap is on point. And uh, maybe... You know, give it a break, come back and try to see what you think. And if it's not a fit after, you know, 20, 30 shaves and, you know, do what you got to do. But I will tell you, if you're new, if you're six months in right now, things will change when you're two years and six months in. So take that under advisement. And uh, I made the mistake of going through a ton of razors and I've owned a lot of razors multiple times. So... Just take that and, and use it as you will, but I'll tell you, you will benefit if you just take your time and make sure you're giving it a fair uh, try. You might find later, oh, I, I initially thought it stank, but now it's great. So anyway, let me rinse the face and the beard and we'll come back and do the post, stay tuned. All right, and here we are back with the magic made by Riches. And let's get it on and hope that this will make for a wonderful day. I hope it does. I hope the, the magic in this makes it magic for me. I could use it. But regardless, we will press on. Let's, uh, oh, I forgot about giveaways. I forgot about giveaways. Let's start with the winner of the fine um, slant. Mr. Chris Gray. Chris Gray, email me and claim your winnings. I'll get it out to you sometime this week. And stand by while I get the giveaways for this week to announce. All right, and for the giveaway this week, we have the Pacific, or excuse me, the Elvado uh, Pacific Coast Kahuna. This is an aftershave balm. This is the shaving cream in a pump. And here is the shaving cream in a tub. So this will be up for giveaway. To enter, just send an email to CDB at imcdb.com and mention Elvato, and I will enter you for a drawing on next Sunday. Uh, just to review what we used today, we used the Captain by Tiki, again, available now at groomatorium.com. Uh, great service, great shipping, all the rest. Timeless bronze, which I love. And the TSC Plisson, which you see here, and we will finish the shave out with a little Tiki the captain have not used this aftershave yet. Brand new. Look how full he fills the bottle. Fantastic. Good restrictor on here. It doesn't come out uh, in a massive amount one time, wasting all sorts of product. And that feels nice. I can really smell that pipe tobacco type scent in the cherry, which is good. I like it. And so there you go. Tiki, the captain, available at Grumatorium. Com. I want to thank uh, everyone once again for watching, and I want to thank you for your support. It means the world. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You're not. God bless.